All right, welcome everyone to our healthy Halloween masterclass. It feels a little silly calling it a masterclass while we're all in costume, but that's okay. We will learn a lot and have fun. I love that you guys all dress up. This is amazing. Jonah, do not feel like you need to keep that on your head this entire time. It must be hot inside there. It's like a sweaty mess. <laughs> yes, seriously. All right, we are going to start right on time and keep this fun, fast paced and get through tons of information in a real quick 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna just keep uh, admitting people as they pop into the waiting room and give you a little introduction before we jump right in. So Halloween is one of those holidays and the fall in general tends to be a time of year where we just accept that it's going to be unhealthy, right? Oh, we're gonna break all our healthy habits. We're gonna eat extra sugar. We're gonna stay up too late. We're gonna use toxins that maybe we wouldn't ordinarily use. And our goal in doing this little class is to show you some ways that you can still have tons of fun at Halloween and through this fall season using some healthy alternatives. So we're gonna talk about some oily tips and tricks, but also just some like mom hacks, things that you can use to keep this whole holiday season tons of fun without the sugar crash and the weakened immune system and the exposure to toxins and the exhaustion and all of those kind of downsides that may come along with it. <clears throat> so I'm sure people will continue to pop on and off. That's fine. We're recording this and we'll make the recording available. So no worries if you don't get to jot everything down. You don't have to take furious notes. You'll get a chance to watch this again. But without further ado, I want to turn things over to our first speaker who will make a grand entrance. Trisha is going to be talking to us all about reducing our toxic exposure during Halloween and the fall holidays. Trisha. All right. Hello, my pretties. Now, you may love my beautiful face painting. I prefer face painting at Halloween over masks, especially for. <laughs> I could go a lot of ways. <laughs> But I really do prefer them over masks. So I even encourage my kids to choose costumes where I can paint their faces so they can kind of be in costume in school all day, right? Because they can't wear the masks at school. Like, so I convinced MJ this year, my son, he's 10, not almost 10, to be a zombie. So I'm going to paint his face. Um, my daughter's being a black cat so I can paint her face. And mommy's being a witch. That's a lot of face paint, which could add up to a lot of extra toxins on our skin, which we're, we all know our skin is our largest organ. We're absorbing all of that, but there are actually less like cleaner options for face paint. Now this face paint looks kind of fabulous and it works great. So I wanted to introduce you guys to a uh, less a cleaner option for face paint because a lot of the ones, if you've ever been to a, a fair or anything where your kids have gotten face paint or you've gotten like one of like, a temporary tattoo, like you, you have to scrub and scrub to get it off because they use oil-based paints and they're terrible for your skin. This is a great brand, Snazaru. It's fantastic. What's all over me? I don't know. Snazaru was recommended to me by a face painter who uses very high quality face paint. So this is excellent um, and I'm going to show you in a minute how to, it comes off so easily so if you simply have coconut oil you can just kind of wash up but it does come off very easily with just soap and water but I wanted to show you guys my um, makeup remover which works great for face paint 
Before I do that though, because I want to stay in character, um, I want to talk also about the other thing that a lot of people love to do at Halloween, and I'm gonna, oh, look at Jen, her hair. That's a perfect segue, is hair color. Now, Jen obviously has a wig on. I don't think she dyed her hair for this. Um, but hair color, right? We all like to uh, dye our hair different colors for Halloween. That again, can be absorbed into our scalp and those toxins are not good. So a great option is Overtone. You can get it on Amazon and it's vegan and cruelty free. So that's, have it in you know school spirit days like you'll use it right buy it for halloween but you'll use it throughout the year for different things for your kids or for yourself if you just need to dress up so overtone on amazon is a less toxin um great choice for hair color but i want to show you guys how awesome this is my makeup remover i keep it in a spray bottle you can also pre-make them with the pads i'm using real cotton like pads today because I didn't want to get this all over my organic cloth ones. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on here. Now in here is a little bit of witch hazel, uh, distilled water, um, blue tansy, frankincense, lavender, we'll send you the rest, tea tree, and coconut oil. So here we go. Comes right off. I mean, amazing, right? And it's super gentle on my skin. My skin's actually getting the benefits of all the essential oils. So it'll be great for your kids. It's super gentle. I said that a lot. I like the word super because I'm looking at Rachel and her superhero. But there we go. Less toxins on our body for Halloween with oils. Easy peasy. No, I'm not a witch anymore. Well, hey, hey, nobody comment there. All right, passing the baton. I love it. That is my favorite makeup remover. It's great on face paint. It's great on your everyday makeup, makeup batch. You'll love it. Also, I have to put in another plug for overtone. We're big fans of it. My seven-year-old daughter is going to be Audrey from Descendants. If you have young girls, you may know that Audrey has pink and blue hair. So we will be using pink and blue overtone to color her hair so she can totally rock out as Audrey and it doesn't wash out like right away. So it'll be there for a little bit, but I'm totally fine with her having pink and blue hair for like a week or two until it totally fades and she'll feel super cool about it. So love overtone. All right, moving right along. Up next, we're going to turn things over to the swans, a.k.a night and day to talk to us all about sugar and food dye and all that junk that might be in your trick-or-treat bags. Liz and Elena. Oh, sugar. sugar. Uh, 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 dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey, brim, 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 yeah, yeah. You, you rub my candy. candy. No, no way, okay. No. All right. No. No, now. No. Now we don't expect you to ditch all of the candy. But let's talk about some really important things and how we can support our health and our immune system while we're going through this festive, costumey, sugar-laden, mm -hmm. cold, frosty in some places. And the dyes. On the, oh yeah, the dyes too. We're gonna get there, people. Okay, so we wanna bring you a little information about sugar and die and what we can do mm -hmm. to support our body, right? First of all, we have yeah, yeah. we have some really good tips and tricks too that we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna share with you. But we're gonna hold the sugar treats. And we got Jen here who's gonna fill you in on healthy treats too. Yay. So sugar, why do you wanna avoid it? You Balance. know, well, there are many studies that have shown that sugar can negatively affect many parts of your body, your immune system, your brain and even various organ functions, okay? Oh, no. So it's not just that we don't wanna hype our kids up or ourselves, because let's face it, you get a bag of candy, the kids are eating some of it, but we got some candy stashed away and you know it goes to the parents usually. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a tip for that. Okay, go, go with your tip. So if you're a parent or an adult that wants to eat candy and you're really not supposed to because you're trying to be good, 
you could use your slim and sassy oil or you could use your fennel oil oh yeah fennel another yeah cut the sugar cravings mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. put two drops under your tongue you don't want that candy yeah i also like to have a little a little lemon in my water that always helps well that's me. all day mm-hmm. yeah so now Gentle cleanse. now what do we do if we do eat mm-hmm. sugar because are we just supposed to take the candy all the way from the kids and be like, no, you collected this. You cannot have any of it. Let's face it. It's going to happen. All right. We're going to go through some of it, right? We go through the candy. Always go through your candy because you just don't know. There's some real creepy people out there. Remember the razor blades? Remember that? All right. Okay. Everybody go. All right. Come on. It is PG. We're, we're fine. We're, you know, we're like a PG 13 right now. So (laughs) we're good. All right. So we always want to kind of go through the candies and like, figure out which ones our kids can't eat because we have oh, yeah. we're all gluten. sorts of dairy free, you know, dietary here. restrictions, gluten free, dairy free, yeah. soy free. Well, there I goes all the candy. And yep. I can't eat nuts. Whoop, get that rid of that. that so not only are there lots of preservatives, but there are lots of dyes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you don't know about food dye, and I know Rachel really enjoys talking about food dye and she knows a lot of it, but I know that there are nine different food dyes that are approved by the FDA and all of them have adverse health effects. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, right down to the big old C word, not COVID. Okay. We've been talking about that, but you know, like the big C, (laughs) C. um, you know, cancer. And, you know, there are studies that have related food dyes to cancer. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're supporting our body's ability to process things like sugar and food dice. Now, Mm. once in a while, is it going to happen? Are we going to give our kids a Skittle? Probably. The kids are probably going to get a Skittle. We're not going to be like, you never have Skittles again. No, but you know what we're going to need to do? Mm. We're going to need to stay super hydrated. We're going to need to make sure we're taking our probiotics. We're taking Mm -hmm. our supplements. The The, Terrazyme. The Terrazyme. Huge, Mm -hmm. huge. All of those things. So important. Okay. So great. And with, with our kids, um, Mm -hmm. you know, we 86 that candy after two days, it's gone. Okay. We get rid of it. The switch, which comes, brings some annoying toys that make noise, probably, you know, mm-hmm. because you gotta, you gotta really do a pay, a, a good payoff if it's for kids, yeah. right? Colton told me he doesn't want the switch witch to come this I year. I know. He, I well, said, you have to talk to your mother about that. The witch that. rides on a broom and she doesn't care what anybody thinks. She's coming for the candy. <laughs> Trish so, is going to come for the candy. <laughs> she's coming come for the candy. Um, you know, but there are lots of great ways that we can dispose of our candy. Mm. Um, you know, bring it to the dentist's office. If your dentist has a program, I don't know who's ta- taking these things anymore in these day and eight this day and age we're in Mm -hmm. weird times you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying so i'm sure there's something mm -hmm. in your community that you Mm -hmm. can do with your candy Mm -hmm. lots of good things though Mm -hmm. that you can figure out to do with it right you know and swap out things for healthy treats which leads me to wait what about the tummy aches list oh the tummy aches yeah because that happens god forbid they find it after you hit it oh they found it from last year i'm like wait how do we miss this how do we miss this? So you want to do year? for the kids, you want to do your tamer Skittles. right on the belly. And for you, if you kind of eat too much, we won't tell anybody. It's okay. You're going to want to do your digestion. I like a drop under my tongue and a little bit on the belly. Mm-hmm. Gas bloating, upset stomach is gone instantly. I'm going to tell you what. You're gonna, you might need to do some Zendocrin. Okay. You might need to, you might need to do a little Zendocrin after that stuff. Because if you're putting all this stuff into your body, you need to help support the various functions of the organs in your body that are processing all of these things. However, I don't recommend actually putting the Zendocrin in your mouth. It Elena does it, but I cringe. Put it in a veggie cap. When she does, I cringe and it makes me... No, no, no. Never in the mouth. She accidentally used a straw. She gave me a straw that she used for her Zendocrin cranberry juice or whatever it was. It was the worst, the worst. And then I was tasting it for days and days and days. You got to cut that with some juice. Anyways, cut it, cut it down or just take a soft gel. Now we can go to the beautiful blue haired Jennifer Rambala. Take (laughs) Take it away. away. Take us into snack land. All right, guys. I actually, um, I made a PowerPoint for you. Woo. Wow. I got to share my screen so you can screenshot stuff. This way it'll be super quick. Makes it easier instead of me being like, okay, these are all the ingredients. All right, these are awesome recipes. I use them all the time. 
And um, I hope you like the vibe of Halloween. So almond flour, banana muffins, go ahead and screenshot that. The biggest thing to understand is you guys can fool around with these. When you're making muffins and stuff, add an on guard when it says cinnamon. If you want more of like a, you know, banana cardamom, like it doesn't have to be cinnamon, right? You can do cardamom with it. Now that we have vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, you can sub vanilla extract with that. I actually forgot to put that in here. They're in the other ones. Um, but right, so when it's, I actually do sometimes add the spice and the oil. I don't know, just more of a preference for me. I do add both. And um, I love adding on guard to these kinds of things. I just, I think it tastes absolutely delicious. Coconut flour, banana bread, one of my favorites. Um, and I also, to this one, I love adding walnuts and I load it up with uh, cinnamon on guard and banana bread's really good with cardamom as well, like I was saying. So there's this one for you, super easy. Um, you don't want the texture of this, by the way, to be really thick. Um, you'll see what I mean when you make it. You know how like sometimes you're like, oh, yeah. right? Like you're gonna almost feel like you're like, is this gonna solidify? And it will, like, trust me, it comes out really, really amazing and it's super soft and moist. So this is a great one. And then on guard apples, a lot of us know of, right? You take, so the key is one drop of on guard per apple, and then you slice them all up, pop them in the water. So just take whatever kind of, you know, thing you wanna use, whatever bowl, pop them in. And I would just say soak them for like 30 minutes or so. And that's a really great one, especially for the kids, love it. Protein pancakes, this is kind of like a little different one. Um, you have the Madagascar vanilla in there. And then with your, you know, with pancakes, you could add whatever flavors you want. Same thing, like have fun with it. And then this one is my favorite one. It actually is supposed to be called peanut butter balls. And then when I like had it on the screen, I was like peanut butter banana balls. And I was like, yeah, let's just change it to puffs. <laughs> I was like, it sounds a little bit better. <laughs> so my dirty mind over here, I'm like banana balls. Anyways, this one I make all the time. This is like leftover bananas. You don't know what to make. You want something super freaking quick that's done in 20 minutes. No joke, absolutely amazing because all you need is the quick oats, bananas. You can throw in chocolate chips if you want to. I always do walnuts because I feel like they get like crispy inside of the oven. And then the peanut butter, throw it all together, mash it up. And I always like throw an on guard. I put cinnamon in there and I love it. And I love having the kids involved in this process, but this one, you guys is awesome. So you can roll it up in a bowl if you want to, or sometimes I just kind of plop it with a spoon right on the thing. And I just let the, let the designs do its thing. And the kids really love it. So this one is my all-time favorite. I really do it all the time. This is an awesome one. If you're doing like an oil party, you're going somewhere, you want to bring something and it's a little bit different. I have found that every single person who has had this recipe, they're always like, oh my gosh, these are so good. Like, what are they? So such a fun one. Um, and that's it. Those are my fun recipes for you for whenever, whenever you want to use them. I love yeah, that, Jen. Jen. That, those were fantastic. And I definitely got those screenshots. Delicious. But, you know, keeping it clean, always a good way to go. If you got to go get your sugar fix or the kids got to get their sugar fix, just make mm -hmm. sure that you're taking care of your body and don't let that sugar linger in the house. Get it out of the house. Take yeah. it out. The thing with the recipes too, is I'll be totally transparent. Like I was over, always so overwhelmed with trying to figure out like healthy alternatives for the kids. Like, and I would just resort to like the easy stuff. And when I got like just a couple ingredients, like just start with the ingredients, go buy the effing coconut flour, which is probably super random. Like for me, I did not have coconut flour in my house. I was like, where do I even find this? Like, I really didn't know almond flour. I thought that was like for breading stuff. Like I just, it wasn't something that I used back in the day. And so when I actually got the bag, I was like, okay, well now I'll use it. And so just start with getting the ingredients and then worry about the recipe. It's like, first step is first, just go online, go to the store, find what you need, get it. And it will all fall into place and you'll start being able to just have what you need and creating it, you know? All right. Awesome. Are we ready to move on? Any final sugary thoughts? All right. I will add that my favorite are the ginger drops because they taste like candy, but they help when you have a bellyache. 
but no. not if you eat the whole bag, which not if you eat the whole bag, just to let you know, that you is may not have to put them in a safe spot. If yes. you have a cold my tag. kids, I can like ration them and I'll be like, if you're good, I'll give you a ginger drop. That's good. <laughs> Your kids need to talk to our older, <laughs> older kid. Mm -hmm. So those were really good tips. I love it. And Jen, I'm totally making your peanut butter balls and I'm not calling them puffs. So there you go. All right. We're going to jump to Jesse in one second, but before we do, you guys have a little, little assignment because we have a lot of people here in costumes and we need a winner for our costume contest. So during Jesse's presentation, I want you to look around everybody who has a costume, make sure your video is turned on. And I want you to send me a private message in the chat. Don't message everyone, just message me with your vote for favorite costume. And then after Jesse's done talking, I'm gonna tell you who wins, all right? I promise to be fair, I'm just gonna tally up the votes. So pay attention to Jesse, but send me a message in the chat. I love these costumes, this is amazing. I'm gonna snap a picture of everybody too, because this is fantastic. All right, Jesse, talk to us about sleep and exhaustion and energy on November 1st. How do we handle all of that? This is amazing. And I just appreciate everyone going all out. It's amazing. I love costumes. I love Halloween. Um, so let's just talk about kind of unwinding, like after trick or treating or Halloween parties and things, right? There's a lot of stimulation going on. And so how do we unwind? So one of the recommendations that I wanted to give you guys was have a bonfire. This is the perfect time of year to sit outside. And it, um, immediately when you sit around a fire, you're going to focus on the fire and it's almost like meditative, right? So you're gonna, it's gonna start unwinding the mind. So that's kind of the first tip, get outside, get around a fire if you can. Um, and then also a nice tradition to start too for your family. Um, then I would recommend getting that diffuser going. Okay, have it going with those calming oils. You have serenity, peace. The new Huga blend is awesome. Um, it has some, it has cedar wood and vetiver and all these like grounding and calming oils that are great for sleep. So pop the, the huga in there, um, get some oils on your kids too. We've talked about, you know, using slim and sassy and the ones for detoxing, but also for calming. So balance, right. Um, and for yourself too, these can be like big nights for us too, as parents, right. Um, or adults, uh, if we have parties and things, maybe we've been drinking, have some grapefruit in some water before you go to bed and in the morning to help uh, with hangover. All right. Um, so those would be some first things. Then set up for the bath, turn it into a quick spa, right? Sprinkle some oils around your shower. Um, if you're making a bath for your children, have them soak in a detox bath. You can add frankincense to some Epsom salt um, and add that into the bath. And it's already going to start this detoxing process if they've been eating a lot of sugar. Okay. Um, also diffusing your bathroom. I have a diffuser in every single room of my house. So get those diffusers out. All right. And turn them on. Um, then when you get to, to bed, I highly, highly recommend um, guided meditation. So like insight timer, calm are some good apps. My daughter used to love um, Moshi is another one that has really like fantasy stories. Find a Halloween kind of, you know, fantasy guided meditation. And I promise you, your kid will fall asleep quick. <laughs> Mine does every time. She never makes it through a single meditation, nor do I. All right. So for yourselves, we sleep with guided meditations every night too. Um, so highly recommend that. Then, um, oh, one last thing, no screens at night. When you get home, don't get on your phone. Don't lay there and scroll and see what everyone else's Halloween looked like. Don't let your kids start watching Hocus Pocus or Adam's Family. Like, you know, let just make it time, time for sleep for your sanity and for theirs because the next day could be H-E double hockey sticks, right? If we're not doing, like doing what we need to the night before. I do it. I'm guilty, guilty, like letting my kids stay up too late. It's fun. It's so much fun. And then the next day I'm paying for it. So if you are waking up, 
the next day and feeling sluggish and, you know, now, oh, kind of have that slump, right? That Halloween hangover. Um, what do you do? Well, get those energizing happy oils out, the peppermints, the wild oranges, those bright oils that are going to get the motivate, get you going, cheer. Yes, Steph, like get it going and start your day off that way. And when your family gets up in the morning, create, you know, this magical space at the, the kitchen table, if you want, we're headed into the new month of gratitude. Maybe you start some kind of tradition of gratefulness for the month, right? So you can step kind of into that right away. Um, maybe it's just some coloring, some relaxing things that are just not like, bam, like right back into it. Get up. It's time to go. We got to go to school. We gotta, you know, I, I get it. It's kind of hard, but maybe there is a way that you could create kind of this space for them to ease into it a little bit. So those are just some tips that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if anyone else has anything else they want to share about sleep, go for it. Yes, Trisha. I do because I don't know about anybody else, but before doTERRA came out with Huga, I had never really heard of the word. And Hannah Anderson is a company that makes, they have awesome pajamas. They're like my favorite Christmas pajamas to get. And they have a Huga pajama set. So <laughs> Get your, it's like little cozy houses and trees. So you can get your hygge pajamas on, your hygge blend going around your campfire, like Jesse said, and be just hygge it out. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Love it. Hygge it out. Fantastic. All right. We promised we would get this done in under 30 minutes. And here we are, 828. And we did it. We got through everything. Like I said, we'll share the recording with all of you and you can share with all of your friends. We'll get it up on YouTube so you can spread the word. All right, we have a winner. It was close. There was a lot of people who got votes, but Stephanie pulled it away with her cheer drop. Homemade costumes for the win, oil costumes for the win, kid made costumes for the win. Love it. So Stephanie, we have a cute little kind of fallish themed oil case for you. These are some of, some of us have these cases. They're our favorite. They're really pretty on the inside spots to hold your oil bottles. So message me offline and we'll figure out the best way to get this to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, Yay Stephanie. <laughs> All right, everybody have an amazing Halloween. Enjoy your fall. Remember, you can still get Huga and that gorgeous flickering diffuser. Oh my gosh, you guys know that it flickers like candlelight, the diffuser, it's amazing. Okay, you can still grab that. You can still grab your Evolve Tour Kit. You can still grab all of your October goodies. You have time, get them while you can. And Stay tuned because there's some awesome stuff coming in November. That's all I'm going to say. All right, here we are, 8.30. I'll play the Halloween music and say good night to everyone. <laughs>